Hi and welcome back everyone. In today's episode of Chili Chumps Beginner's Guide to Growing Chili Peppers from Seed to Sauce, we're going to talk about three things that are going to help you optimize the way your chili plants grow and at the end of the day optimize how many chilies you actually get out of them. So the number one thing that you can do to make sure that your plant grows as big as it possibly can is to make sure that it has a very healthy root system and make sure that that root system is as big as it possibly can be. So how do we do that? The easiest way is to make sure that you're watering your plants properly. So if we consider, let's say that's your plant pot. <clears throat> There's your little chili plant. What a lot of people do, especially when they're starting out growing chilies, or to be honest, any other type of plants, is they overwater. Now, what happens when you overwater is this. Let's imagine these are your roots. What the roots do is a couple things. They collect water. They absorb nutrients from the soil and from the water as well if you're adding fertilizers. And number three is they, they breathe. Now, if you're watering constantly, what is gonna happen is at the bottom here, there's, it's gonna have lots of water sitting down the bottom of your pot. And if you're constantly watering, what happens is there's gonna be water available to the roots at this level almost all the time. So if you're watering every day, you're gonna constantly water, you're gonna see that the top of the, the soil is dry, so you water again. <clears throat> but what you'll find is just below the dry soil, you're gonna be keeping this way too moist. And what will happen is these roots have no incentive to get any larger because they get all the water they need right at the surface level. So why should they spread out? Why should they move down? So a simple change of watering only once every second day or once every third day, depending on what the weather's doing, is this allows the soil in here to actually dry out a little bit. And these roots are going to have to start searching. So it'll always be quite damp right down the bottom of the pot. Because when you water, the, water, the last bit of wetness inside the pot is always going to be towards the bottom. The roots have to search for that water. So they start spreading out. They grow down and they spread out and they get bigger. And now with a bigger root system, when you do water and when you do feed, this plant can take up a lot more nutrients and a lot more water a lot quicker. And that helps for a few reasons. Number one is obviously it's going to be able to absorb those nutrients a lot quicker and help it to grow better and it'll help the plants produce better flowers and better fruit. But at the same time, it's also going to allow everything above the soil to grow bigger as well. Your plant is only going to be as big as the root system allows it to be. But as a small root system, it's not going to grow very big and it's also not going to be very stable. So don't water too frequently. The second thing is flowers. Now this might seem counterintuitive, but you want to cut the flowers off. Now obviously the whole point of growing chili pepper plants is to get chili peppers and to get chili peppers you need flowers because flowers turn into the peppers. However at the early stage of growth when the plants are still small like at the moment for me it is still very early in the season and I want the plants to get a lot bigger. I could allow my plants to keep flowering and produce fruit right now that's fine but the problem is all the energy then is going to go into making little chili peppers. And if the energy is going into creating these chili peppers, the energy isn't going into making these plants bigger. Now, if the plant is too small, then you're only going to produce a minimal number of chili peppers. Let the plant grow bigger and you're going to have a far better harvest down the end of the season. So be patient. It's never easy to actually do it. You don't want to be cutting off your flowers. It looks pretty and obviously you want your chili peppers. But you'll be very thankful at the end of the season when you have a much bigger plant and much, much more of an abundant harvest. So 
trim off your flowers, trim off the buds before they turn into flowers. So for me, I will be chopping the flowers off until at least the end of June, maybe even going into July. The problem that I have is I have many, many plants and the plants are getting a lot bigger, which means I have a lot more flowers and it takes a lot of time to actually do that. But at the, at the moment, I can still chop off the flowers and I'm gonna see the, the benefits of that. And the last thing you can do to optimize the growth of your chili plants is topping. Now I left this one to last because it is a little controversial. I've just released a video about this and to be honest I'm not a massive fan of topping. If I lived somewhere where there was a longer season then I would be a much bigger fan of topping. But the problem you have in the UK is we only get about eight months in the year that we can actually grow our chili plants. And what topping does is it sets your plant back I would say probably by about a month maybe a month and a half and the benefits of topping maybe gets countered by the fact you've set your plant back so much. So have a look at my topping video you can see what I've been doing there. Some plants respond better than others so if you have a quicker growing plant then go ahead by all means top it. So you'll probably see some benefits of the Super F1 chili because it grows very quickly and it's very quick to get your harvest. But your longer growing cycle especially the chinens, the, uh, the super hot peppers I probably wouldn't suggest topping those. If this is your first year growing peppers, which if you're watching this video, it probably is, rather don't top. Go through the process, see how your plants respond, get a good feel for your plants, and then maybe next year, maybe you can do some topping, just as a bit of an experiment. That gives you three ways to help optimize the growth of your chili plants. That's it for this video. I hope it was useful, and I hope you're having a good season and your plants are doing well. And I'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching.